Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use Airtable with your business clients. So for us, we also do freelance work for our clients. We do video editing, graphic design, YouTube coaching, course creation. And one of the ways to help us organize everything is Airtable. So I'm here on Airtable right now and you see all those squares? Those are called bases. And it's basically like an enhanced version of an Excel spreadsheet. I would describe Airtable as a really cool updated version of Excel. And so I'll show you some examples of how we use them with our clients because like I said, each square that you see is a base and each base is assigned to each of our clients. So for this client right here, we actually do a bunch of different things. So we do video editing, design projects, and other miscellaneous type projects for their business. And so the first tab that you see here is the service where I do video editing on their YouTube videos and then I upload it to their YouTube channel. And so when I am done uploading the video to the YouTube channel, I put the name of the video, I put the link, and I put the release date. Now, they also have access to Airtable, which by the way is completely free. There are paid versions, but this entire time we've been using the free version and it works great. And so after I'm done each video for the week, I put it in here and like I said, they have access to it. They can easily see which videos I've done, the links to those videos, the dates that they were published, and it's very clear on both sides what has been completed. So that's the video editing that we do. Over here are the design projects and other miscellaneous type projects. You can see that we have the project name, we have the categories that it's under, any notes about the project. You can see that we have all that pink there that says design complete because it's all the work that we've completed. And then we have another tab here called delivered assets where if there is something to be delivered, something like a graphic digitally, we put it here. And then we also have the project value, which was the price that we set for the client to get paid. And then when we get paid, we just check mark that off so we can keep track of the projects. And as you can see with this one particular client, we've done many projects for them. It can get really crazy going back and forth, trying to remember which one, where was that? email that had the asset for the picture. It can all get really confusing and this is just one client, right? So I like it better than Excel spreadsheets. One, because we can both have access to it. So she has her own access to her own Airtable to this exact base that is assigned to her. Two, it's more advanced than an Excel spreadsheet in that you can put many different things like this checkbox thing here, being able to upload images, being able to create these cool little tabs here. And I just find it overall a lot easier to use and our clients have really been liking it as well. Another example here is of a client where we do his YouTube thumbnails. So every client is different and they're not always gonna have the same things for each of them. So this one has the video title, the status of the thumbnail, the due date, this is their expected due date, the delivered asset, which is basically like the JPEG file, and other graphic assets that are needed for the graphic to be designed, we put over here, and the date that this was created. So our client comes in and he has a YouTube channel where he evaluates different companies' stocks. So there's a lot of different logos here, that's why you see all these different logos. And he releases videos every day, that's why you see so many different thumbnails going on. So what he does is he puts in the date that he created the listing, puts in some of the digital assets, and puts the due date that he would like the YouTube thumbnail. He also puts the title of the thumbnail, and then he doesn't need to email us each time or anything like that. We just know, we have a system, we just know to come in here every two, three days or so. And then when I'm starting on one of them, I click this and you can set these. These are set by us. 
it starts off as not started and then I go to in progress, right? And then once it's delivered here, then I would go into here and then go completed. And then they can just come in here and go and download each of the thumbnails. The cool thing is that Airtable doesn't compress the quality of whatever you've uploaded. So even though we've uploaded this YouTube thumbnail image, it won't downgrade the quality of it, which is huge because that is an issue sometimes. So he can just take that YouTube thumbnail and then go upload it to his YouTube videos. So as we go back to the main Airtable dashboard, you can see that we've actually kept things really simple with Airtable. We assign each base, which is basically the square, to one of our clients. And depending on if it's video editing or if it's YouTube coaching or graphic design, we adjust the Airtable base with the appropriate categories. And they're fairly simple. It's just like name of the thing, price. Sometimes the client wants to see the price of everything. Sometimes they just pay one big thing up front. So it really depends. But this using Airtable with our business clients has been awesome. They love it. They like using it. It's super user friendly. It's free and it's just very visually appealing. It's, it's, I love the colors. It's clean. The design is very clean. I get a very older feeling with Excel. And if you found this video helpful, please let us know by giving a thumbs up. That would be very greatly appreciated. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.